All right, good morning all. Uh, hope you can see my screen. Uh, I, would, I just wanna thank everyone for joining us in the, uh, uh, for our third virtual uh, uh, Kentucky Botanical Symposium. Uh, we did the first one in uh, 2020 with the uh, COVID. We said, oh my goodness, what can we do to uh, uh, make sure that uh, we can still go ahead with the symposium? And so we went virtual and realized that uh, this was the way to do it because it, we could get a lot more people to uh, join the meeting and we could also uh, uh, have speakers from all across the country. So uh, from now on, going forward, the uh, symposium is going to be uh, uh, virtual. So uh, Kentucky Native Plant Society mission, you should all be aware of it, but uh, I always like to uh, uh, re restate it at the start of anything. The mission of the Kentucky Native Plant Society is to promote education about appreciation for and conservation of our native flora. Uh, I just wanna thank the team that uh, put this together. And what I'm going to do is a quick review of uh, 2022 and a uh, preview of 2023. Okay, uh, the year began with uh, Wildflower Week, uh, where we had several events uh, and we started last year for the first time on the first day of the wildflower week, we set up a series of hikes all around the state. We had 11, 11 hikes, over 40 people participating uh, to just kick off the uh, 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 botany blitz and uh, other activities for Wildflower Week. Uh, this was such a success that uh, we're definitely doing it again this year. We are going to change the name though, uh, since uh, <laughs> INAP tutorial hikes just didn't sound that interesting. So uh, right now we're tentatively calling uh, next year's uh, hikes the uh, uh, botany blitz first day hikes. So uh, be looking for notification of that. Uh, last year, we did a botany blitz on uh, INAT. That was the uh, second year, I think, we did botany blitz. Uh, maybe third, I can't remember now. But at uh, any rate, uh, it was an iNaturalist project uh, set up and, and coordinated by Vanessa Volker. Thank you, Vanessa. Uh, and in that week, the week before Wildflower Weekend, starting April 2nd to the 9th, we had over 4,500 observations made and recorded of 538 species of plants. Several, I think six or seven, uh, are plants that are rare in Kentucky. Uh, 121 observers and 221 identifiers from 73 counties uh, in Kentucky. So it uh, was a real success and uh, we're looking, looking for even more this year. Then at the end of Wildflower Week, we had our first in-person Wildflower Weekend uh, since uh, 2019. Uh, Weather up at Natural Bridge was a little cool uh, and a little damp. We did have uh, a few snow showers during uh, uh, the hikes, but everybody was so excited to come together and uh, dressed for the weather and uh, uh, they were a great success. I think we had a total of uh, around 14 uh, different hikes. So. And then of course our presentations on uh, Saturday night. We had a couple field trips. We hope to do more in 2023, but we had a couple nice uh, field trips. Uh, the first one in, on June 11th was down in the Ballard Wildlife Management Area, a uh, chance for people to see uh, uh, the 
bald cypress, uh, Tupelo woodland forest in the uh, Ohio River bottomlands. Uh, the Office of Kentucky Nature Preserves lists the Cypress Tupelo Swamp as a state endangered ecosystem, and it's just a great place to explore. We did see uh, one Kentucky uh, uh, rare species, Swamp Candles, Lysimacha terrestris, uh, which was a nice treat. Then in July, uh, Alan Abbott uh, uh, took a group up to uh, Glades in Buena Vista Glades, uh, just across the river in Indiana. Uh, this was because uh, uh, he knew the area and, and several of the, and the, the habitat is much like Glades throughout that part of Kentucky as well. So uh, it was a good hike with uh, uh, several uh, unusual species uh, there. Okay, in July, end of July, we had a uh, workshop, all day workshop. Uh, we had originally scheduled this for March of 2020 and you all know what uh, happened in March of 2020. Uh, so uh, we were so excited to be able to uh, uh, ask Dr. Richard Abbott uh, from the University of Arkansas at Monticello uh, to come down to Bernheim and he did an all day workshop uh, titled uh, uh, Plant Family Identification Motifs, Patterns for Simplifying Complexity. Uh, and his description, brief description using base, minimal basic vocabulary, approximately 30 plant families and half a dozen uh, artificial motifs. We will focus on plant identification pattern. Completely full, 20 participants, and the feedback from the participants was uh, great. So we're going to do some more workshops this year. Then in October, uh, we had uh, then our first fall meeting in person. Uh, this was October 15th. It was a gorgeous day up at uh, Blue Licks Battlefield State Resort Park. Uh, Blue Licks is uh, one of the few locations in the world, uh, three counties in Kentucky, one county in Indiana, uh, where the globally rare Schwartz Goldenrod is found. We began in the morning with some presentations about Schwartz. Dr. Carol Baskin uh, talked about the ecology of the federally endangered species Solidago short die, and then Jess Slade. Uh, gave a presentation on Schwartz Goldenrod today, recent management efforts, challenges, and successes. Then after lunch, we, uh, uh, Heidi and uh, uh, immediate past president, Tara Littlefield, uh, took us all on a walk through the Limestone Glade community. Uh, we saw Schwartz Goldenrod in, in flower, uh, along with several other interesting uh, late, late, uh, or early fall species. Then Kentucky Botanist Big Year 2022. This is an iNaturalist project, uh, again, uh, managed by Vanessa Volker, runs from January through December uh, and records any observations of plants made in Kentucky. Uh, it was uh, an excellent year, year uh, 13,500 observations of 1,427 different species of Kentucky plants. Uh, the, and of, of those six were, uh, six or so were rare species in Kentucky. Uh, and the one thing that stands out about the botanist big year, 673 people identified plants on there and, and thank you to all the identifiers that that makes uh, these iNaturalist projects uh, very successful. So thank you. Okay, uh, oops, sorry. Uh, KNPS in 2023, we hope to have a great year. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention the, the uh, uh, Kentucky Botanical Symposium that we're in. Uh, so uh, uh, next year, we're planning the, the 
Kentucky Botanist Big Year 2023 is already up on iNaturalist, so check it out and join the project. Uh, we're going to have a Kentucky Native Plant Society planning retreat at the end of February in Bernheim. Uh, this will uh, be basically uh, 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 the board and uh, members interested in providing input uh, at Bernheim to plan uh, activities for KNPS over the next several years. I'll be getting out an email to members uh, uh, this weekend. Our Botany Blitz first day hikes scheduled for April 8th. The Wildflower Bot Week Botany Blitz, April 8th through the 15th. Wildflower Weekend this year, we're moving uh, away from Natural Bridge State Park this year to Cumberland Falls, April 14th and 16th. Uh, for fans of Natural Bridge, don't worry. Our plan right now is to alternate uh, alternate uh, uh, years so that one year at uh, uh, Natural Bridge and the next year at a different state resort park. Field trips, workshops, we're going to have a fall meeting and the Botanical sip, uh, Symposium. And I'm out of time, so I'm just going to say one other thing. Uh, our Lady Slipper blog, which uh, I'm sure many of you, if not most of you, get uh, via the email digest, uh, we're always looking for articles. So uh, if you have any, any thoughts about writing an article, uh, please uh, uh, send an email to ladyslipper at no spaces, one word, at knps.org. So thank you and I'll stop sharing.